Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. With COVID-19, there's been a run on bicycles, cross-country skis, recreational properties, and camping equipment. Just try and reserve a camping spot these days. Remy Watts has definitely noticed this. He worked in the oil industry, then upgraded his skills at SAIT, and now works for CBI Solar. They've always done work on off-grid solar systems, but these days, business is booming for solar systems for recreational vehicles. Two years ago, you know, we would maybe have done just under $100,000 worth of off-grid business two years ago. Uh, you know, This time around... We're doing $100,000 with a business a month. Um, spectacular growth within this industry and huge potential as education increases and the visibility of it all increases as well. We met up with Remy Watts and his crew in Edmonton. The Red Deer company has so much demand for their RV solar systems, they set up a mobile workshop in a parking lot. We're at West Edmonton Mall. Um, they graciously let us have a couple stalls here in their parking lot on the south side. And we're here to talk about RV solar and off-grid systems. Remy Watts walks out of his mobile shop to the front of a large motorhome. So we're actually working on a couple RVs right now. Um, this unit to my left is currently underway. This unit to my right is a complete system. This unit here will have four 335 watt modules, uh, a 48 volt inverter and two 48 volt batteries. This is not a minor solar system. It's a 1.3 kilowatt system designed for off-grid living. So what can you spend on an RV solar system? I would put the range between somewhere between 2,000 and 20,000. Um, a unit like my personal trailer is a very simplistic one. I have two modules and a single lithium battery and a charge controller. And mine's a $2,000 unit. Uh, you scale up to something like, you know, you're looking at say four modules and maybe six batteries, something like that. Well, you're getting into that $20,000 range when you get the inverter in there as well. So. Remy takes me into a brand new Airstream trailer and shows me an extremely sophisticated RV solar system. An Airstream like this is upwards of $200,000 and we see big coach motorhomes that are half a million dollars and they'll put twenty, maybe even $30,000 worth of equipment in that unit, which really is a drop in the bucket when you consider the cost of that unit and how much time that people now spend in them. RVs come with a pretty basic battery system. Remy says these new solar systems are a very significant upgrade. So with a system like this, the client will be able to essentially not run a generator whatsoever. Um, you know, most of your loads are able to be covered with a system like this. The only thing you don't want to do with a system like this is try to heat something. Um, that's really your biggest uh, thing that you'd run into. But you can run your AC, you can run your fridge, run your lights, run just about every appliance you have in here um, for days, weeks at a time, depending on uh, basically some of the componentry. So. Remy Watts got the idea to start the solar business while working at Watts Projects, a firm that works on oil and gas and forestry projects. Kind of in the mid-2000s, uh, some colleagues and I at Watts started discussing solar and it kind of grew from there. Everything from uh, you know solar on your ice shack, solar on your RV, solar on your cabin, uh, right through say solar on your farm, solar on your municipal center, commercial buildings, um, and even now a little bit of utility scale solars. The incredible market for RV solar systems got a bump from COVID-19 with the camping crowd. And it's especially appealing to snowbirds, wanting self-reliance as they head out on the open road for six months at a time. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.